can start him going. So I chose one very specific start uh, for the beginning of this game. I, I picked a, a very militantly focused start. If you're much more of a builder, you can choose to bring out engineers, which uh, increase the production yields. Hi, Deming. How are you? We'll talk to you later. Uh, engineers will increase the production in your cities. Uh, there are artists who will increase the culture, aristocrats who will raise the energy uh, within each city that you build. Uh, scientists were the ones that I brought on this one. You can bring a worker unit or um, potentially, uh, there's, uh, there's even an option to forgo bringing a unit with you and start with an extra population in your city. Uh, that's kind of a cool option too. Um, Going to go ahead and build that trade depot. All right, our workers ready to go. Oh, wait, I've got my soldiers selected. Let's just cancel that for a second. Ooh. Sorry. I'm gonna, there's my satellite again. Oh, no, do not delete the unit. I'm very sorry. Keep moving things on me. All right, you fortify until you heal. And go this way. All right, there's my worker. That's what I wanted. You come over here, and you're going to start constructing a quarry, and that will, uh, not only will I be getting one energy out of that tile from the solar collector that's overhead, I'll be getting uh, additional production out of it as well, too. So that's, uh, that's going to be very helpful for me. So as you can see, not having to fight every alien that comes across the map uh, means that we can spend more time exploring, uh, more of an opportunity to kind of take a bit of time and establish the infrastructure within our cities themselves. So now on turn 20, as you can see, we're already starting to put tile improvements down outside of our cities. We've got some different techs researched. We're building a trade depot so when we're prompted uh, through a quest decision to establish uh, an outpost near us, we'll be uh, ready for to receive them and we're ready to start conducting uh, trade with them. We've got some different directions that we can go. Um, hopefully in the future we can talk a little bit more about the great naval game, you know, embarking, going off and exploring some different, uh, different continents and things like that. Uh, so I hope this, uh, this insight into um, Beyond Earth has been interesting to you. I hope uh, you've gotten to see some things, uh, maybe gotten some questions answered. I hope in the future as we do more of these live streams, uh, we'll be able to address more of your questions. And I hope you guys are as excited about Beyond Earth coming out as we are. Um, we're so close. Our release date is October 24th of this year. It's an international release date. Everybody gets it on Friday, um, which is amazing. That's, that's really, really cool for us. Um, so it's, uh, it's coming soon, uh, almost here. We're going to be at Gamescom next week, so there won't be a live stream. So if you are in Germany, um, I hope you guys get a chance to come over to uh, Cologne. Uh, there will be a uh, presentation of Beyond Earth at the 2K booth. Um, it'll be a video that you'll be able to see some late game stuff. We've got some very, very cool things to show off in the course of that as well too. So thank you very much for tuning into our stream today. Um, as always, you can uh, follow us on Twitter, um, at Firaxis Games. Uh, you can follow me, it's at FXS Pete Murray. And uh, I appreciate you uh, taking the time to view this. I hope you guys have a great day and uh, thank you for watching.